Hello, and welcome to a Cardboard Coat Check. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop, your Cardboard Concierge, answering your gaming and game night questions and striving to make everyone's gaming experience better. Today, the question we are answering is what's in the box? We're gonna check this game into my collection, but before doing so, we gotta open it up and just take a look at what's inside, make sure everything's safe. So this is a copy of Medium. This is a hot new so, uh, social party game from Greater Than Games. It was a huge hit at Gen Con. I had to get my hands a copy of this after hearing all the buzz after Gen Con from all the podcasts I listened to. Almost everyone was raving about this quick card game and how much fun they were having. There were people calling it the next The Mind. I don't know if I go that far or not. That's up to you to decide once you try the game out. So I am going to unbox a copy of this right now. I apologize for the glare. Once we get the shrink off, off it won't be as bad. And take a look what's inside. I know there'll be cards, but that's a significantly sized box. There's got to be a bit more in there. And we're going to get to that pretty much right away. I am Mo Tuzano, the Tabletop Bellhop. You can find our content at tabletopbellhop.com. The one thing you can do before leaving today is make sure you hit the subscribe or follow button and like, thumbs up, share, and I'll do all those awesome things content creators like myself greatly appreciate. Tipping down to medium. My wife stole my usual hobby knife, so I'm just using a cheap knife to get this one open. They're a little less glare here now. Uh, just so you know, it says two cards, two thoughts, one mind, three, two, one, medium. It starts with cards. You play them. Cards lead to thoughts. You read them. Thoughts become words. You say them. The connection is incredible. You'll feel it. Using your psychic link, you and your partner meld your minds to find the medium. The word that connects the cards you and your partner played. Count down. Three, two, one, and then attempt to say the same word at the same time. We have 127 cards, three crystal ball cards, 16 extra special power cards, ESP, uh, 16 dividers, and some mind meld tokens we're gonna see in here. Alrighty, so right on the top, we have the rule book. We've got some nice artwork on the side. Reap the rewards of your paranormal prowess. Think quickly before the hand of fate strikes. Um, Consult the cards to influence your fortune. Use your psychic powers to change the future. It's all decent enough art on the edge. All right, we have the rule book, which we'll flip through quickly. Rule book's nice and short. We are looking at, let's hope there's page numbers, 10 pages. That's longer than I thought. It didn't quite look that thick. Full color, nice dark text on a light background. I am getting a ton of glare. I'm trying to hit an angle here where you can kind of see the words a little better. See some artwork. I see some nice examples in here. Shows the turn order. Looks like you go clockwise, making up pairs. Or a different way. Turn order with teams. What do we have? Yep, playing in teams. Uh, there are notes for playing two players, which is interesting. So the actual rules are nine pages, and then there's a little summary kind of things to know. Now, I will note I have played this game. Uh, there are credits on the back. It's a bunch of special things. It's really simple to understand. Then we have some punch boards, which I've got to say are some of the glossiest punch boards I've ever seen, which is kind of surprising that it's not just picking up on the camera, reflecting everywhere. Uh, they are two-sided. They are noted one, two, and three. And on the back are points. And the way this works is if you get the answer of the game in the first try, you get a one token. If you get it on the second try, you get a two token. And on the third try, you get a three token. And you don't know exactly what points those are worth. So it kind of adds a blind element. There are a whole bunch of these. And more. And more. Then we get two stacks of cards. So we'll move this stuff out of the way so we can focus on what's left. So up first, we have this little pack of cards, which is nicely resealable. What you have here are the ESP powers. There are two special powers in the game, one called a Psychic Link. What that lets you do is on another player's turn, you join in. If you guess the same word as either of the players, you also get the reward. There are enough there for all eight players. And then there is the clear mind, which lets you discard your hand of cards for another, uh, a full replacement. Uh, these are just two-sided. 
color and not, you put them face up in front of the players. When they're used, you flip them to the face down side. One thing I will say is the cards are a nice, pretty good thickness, but man, are they glossy. Like that is a shiny card. Really glossy. And the other problem is the glossiness makes them slippery, as you can see here, as I try to hold them steady and they slide all over the place. So really slippery cards, which for one makes them very easy to shuffle, but you're gonna have problems with decks of cards, possibly depending on how level your table is. So we'll put that aside and then we move on to the dividers. These are thicker, taller cards. Also in a resealable case, though I don't see why you would need it afterwards. Like once you've got your stuff divided, you're not gonna take the dividers apart. So you have dividers for the special cards and then you have a divider and these are gonna be numbered for each of the different decks in the game, counting down from 15. So these all look the same, counting one to 15, or 15 to zero one, because there are 15 different decks in the game. We'll come back to those in a minute. We have a baggie, nice choice, I like that. Thank you for including a baggie. So once we punch all of these, we have somewhere to put them. Nice touch, I always appreciate that. Then we have all the cards, 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 cards. Stacks and stacks of cards, lots of cards. We're gonna open up one of these. There's no, as far as I can tell, cigarette style quick release on these. All right. Well, they don't look like much. Let's try to get some less glare here. Let's try turning this off. There we go. So astronaut and astronaut upside down and astronaut on the edge and a number in the corner and then spot and potato. What's really odd to me is that these aren't bigger or possibly going diagonal. There's a lot of white space on the edge and I have to assume that it's based on the size of the largest word. But when you're trying to read these from across the table, you would think they make them a little bigger. Sneeze and so on. There's not a lot to see. I do like that you've got the words on the edge, so you, when you fan your cards, like a normal card deck, you can see them, but that is pretty small text. Uh, personally, I'm a little disappointed that there's, I don't know what, artwork, something, like those, that's just plain. That is ridiculously plain cards. It's, you know, got kind of a, I don't know, it, it, some lines around it for no good reason. But, you know, it's a word game. What, what do you need besides a bunch of words on cards, right, to really make it work? So, lots of cards, they all look the same with different words. What's interesting to note, I mentioned before, there are 15 different decks in here and they're in the numbered in the corner. And that's done to split the words up so there's a better chance of getting a good connection when playing the game. So really quick game overview. My partner would put down sneeze. I would put down a card, say hotel. Then the two of us would count down three, two, one and try to say a word that fits both of those. Try to find the medium word between sneeze and hotel. And I have no idea. I'm going to say virus. And I hope my partner said virus because I'm thinking you get viruses when you're at the hotel or when you're traveling. And then my partner said something like travel insurance. Then we have to try to find a difference between virus and travel insurance. And the two of us are going to sit there and go, okay, three, two, one, and try to find a word between travel and, and, and travel insurance and virus. And then if we don't get it, we get one more try. If we do get it right, we get one of those tokens. That's the basic gameplay of Median, really quickly summarized. So there is a box insert in here, which I gotta admit isn't blatantly obvious how it works, but what you do is you flip this down and then you have a spot for all your tokens here. So your baggie full of tokens would go in here and then you have all the cards and we'll just toss some of these in just so you can see the inserts. We got cards, these aren't properly separated. And then insert, then cards, then insert. And then some more cards, inserts. Then I'm gonna drive this whole block just to get it in here. It's probably gonna be heavier than it really wants. Inserts, block of cards, insert, block of cards, insert, and everything actually fits nice and snug. You can kind of see it there. Now these would be in sets of, I think it's 15 cards each. So it'd be properly spaced out. And then you got a spot to put all of these tokens, which we'll punch a handful out. 
These would go in the baggie. Fold that up and you would toss that in front of your box. And there you go, medium, all nice and packed. What I think is worth noting that's important is you can sleeve the cards, there's plenty of room. I haven't done so with any copy I own, but you can sleeve the cards as well. We'll toss in the final amount of cards. I'm not gonna put these on top, because now these won't fit, so that's worth noting, right? Once you put the inserts in, you can't put these back in, but they'll all be punched in the front. I'm not gonna do that now. You toss the rule book on top, you put the lid back on, and there you have Medium from Greater Than Games, a mind-reading party game. So this does look cool to you, uh, depending on what time you're watching this video. I am going to be doing a giveaway on the Tabletop Bellhop blog for two copies of Medium, which I am willing to ship anywhere in North America. So thank you, Greater Than Games, for providing copies for that. We are going to be sending two of these out. That review is going to go live on February the 19th on at our website at tabletopbellhop.com. So if you think Medium looks cool and you want to check it out, head to tabletopbellhop.com on the 19th. The um, contest is going to run for three weeks. If it's after that time and you're watching this video, I do appreciate you checking it out. Um, and if you think Medium looks cool, check it out yourself or check out my review at tabletopbellhop.com to see my thoughts and why I think this is a, a well worth picking up party game. I, I do dig the box. I thought it was a little large for a card game, but the way the cards separate and there's a spot for everything, I dig it. It, it works really well. Uh, card quality is solid. The only thing that bums me out at all about this is they could, I don't know, something more on the actual cards. The, the I don't know. I, I don't necessarily need artwork. Like I don't need a picture of everything, but something more, something a little more aesthetically pleasing than that. That's just really, really boring card design to me. That upside down text is nice. It kind of reminds me of code names with that, and I guess it works for code names. Functionality, it's, it's form, function over form in this case, and I'm sure that functions, but even that, it could have been bigger. Bigger text, I probably would have did all caps too. But other than that, um, I will admit I've been playing the game a bit. I've been trying it out. Um, I've been enjoying it. It's a solid game, and I think it's well worth picking up. So that was Medium from Greater Than Games, and I am Mo Tuzano, the tabletop bellhop. As mentioned, you can find my content at tabletopbellhop.com. If you really dig this video, we're having a patron drive over at our Patreon, patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. I think we're seven patrons away from getting new lighting. So we'd be able to have even better looking unboxing videos because I would have a light right here behind my head. I can't actually do it. Shining down to get a little bit better graphics. And then we're also looking to upgrade our cameras. So if you do dig this video and want to tip the bellhop, head over to patreon.com slash tabletopbellhop. For the Tabletop Bellhop, I'm Mo. Good night and game on.